Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. So for you, this can resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. This is for the collective of Scorpio. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon and Pisces. What else, please? What else needs to be known, seen, and understood for the collective, please? Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is the energy here, please? For the collective, Scorpio. We have power. We have deer. So, I mean, it seems like... Somebody may feel like a really spiritual pool or tie connection to this, to this other person, but someone else may have the power here to make these changes, to make these transitions, you know, and it's like they need a practical approach and how they can find balance in this, about this pool and how to work together, how to come together, how to make this work. It feels like an emotional energy. Okay. Actually, the deck that I want happens to kind of be buried under some stuff. So let me grab this out of here. All right. Your messages and guidance. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here for the collective? Scorpio, please. Well, that card is adamantly wanting to come out. We have Page of Coins. We'll be dealing with a younger earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Nine of Swords, what's between you, Ten of Swords, and the obstacles, the Page of Cups, somebody needs to apologize about their behavior, apologize about their actions, maybe they hurt you or disappointed you, they're very concerned about the situation. Okay, what is this person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions about you? And actions that you can expect. Their thoughts about you, their feelings for you. So you can see it better. Their intentions with you and their actions. Okay, you're gonna be hearing from this person. King of Coins. Oh, are they already married to someone else? That's, I mean, it's not for all of, all of you, obviously, but they could be, you know trying to come up with some kind of offer for you, make some kind of promise of commitment or a future with you, open up with their feelings, but they can kind of sense that you're a little bit guarded. You obviously feel a really strong connection to this person, but do you trust them? That's kind of the thing. It's like this person has disappointed you and they are very aware that you may not want to hear from them or that you may not really believe them because in the past, you know, things didn't work out. You may be in separation from this person now. Okay. Uh, what do you need to know about the situation? What's going on? What's happening here? Drum. Okay. Okay. What else? Bridge. And money. Okay, so they want to see you. They we have automobiles that could involve travel. They could be asking to see you. Could be hearing from this person unexpectedly, like an announcement. Um, there's an obstacle here. Like they want to get to you, but they can say that this all happened because of a financial situation, because of the kind of financial restraint. Like this was the obstacle for them that you did not know. They may be trying to come in and offer some kind of insight or clarity about what happened and why you're currently in separation. It had to do with money, whether this person was like your boss or a client or something and it compromised their position or whether this person was even married or had some kind of family influence. There was concerns about money, spirituality and practicality. Yes, you felt a strong connection to this person, but in a practical sense. And again, I will never justify negative actions and behaviors, but we are here for a reason because you want to understand this person. From their perspective, they felt that they could not keep going the way things were because, even though it was in their, within their power, because they were worried about money. Like somehow it became an issue, it became an obstacle, it became part of the challenge. Page of coins. Now you could work for this person, or maybe you're connected somehow through family, 
But with the page of coins, you saw possibilities here, but I think that your fear was that this person was never as serious for you as you were for them. Um, I think some of you may even still really want to kind of clear the air and have closure at the very least. Some of you may even be open-minded to hearing from this person and seeing if you still have a future with them. That's, again, take it how it resonates. There's also a timeless playlist for more videos for your sign in the description box, always. Um, as well as, if if your sun sign, if your, you know, uh, sign does not resonate, like for instance, I'm a Virgo, however, I have a Taurus moon, I have a significant amount of Leo and Capricorn, I find more often than not, Leo and um, Taurus resonate for me more than my sun sign does. You may want to check your other placement videos, right? Um, your person they're worried about the situation. It's like there's a lot of fear. You know, they may be having trouble sleeping. They could be really nervous. They may feel like they're being hunted or being accused of something or being watched by someone or that they, you know, feel kind of backed into a corner. That doesn't justify their actions, but it feels like this person is really concerned about things. And what's between you is 10 of swords. So it could be that things ended. Maybe someone found out about an affair or um, a situation at work and it created a lot of conflict and it feels like there's there's unfinished business that there's still a need for closure for communication that you're still waiting to hear from this person or waiting to reach out like either or like you don't know what you should do the obstacle is this person owes you an apology about the situation they 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 owe it to you to clear the air to you know, whether you take them back or not, or open-minded to it or not, you still want to truly know what this person really feels and what you mean to them, if anything at all, because there's a lot of pain here. I think they are up a night late thinking about you, unable to sleep. In their thoughts, we have the Seven of Cups, which definitely shows us a lot of confusion, a lot of fear and worry, concern. I mean, they don't really know what they should do or what they should say. Can you clarify this person's thoughts about you? What do they think about you? There is like this anxiousness to like clear the air, to say something. They're, they're afraid that they don't speak up soon that they may lose their chance with you. Like maybe you'll move on or meet someone else. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Clarify one more. What are they thinking about you? That maybe they, they may be watching you for one. They could be like spying on your social media or asking people about you. It's like they think that you are handling the situation very well. Even if they know that they've caused you distress, they've caused you pain, and that you're uncertain, you're guarded against them. They feel like you're kind of taking care of yourself, doing your own thing, working very hard, you know, staying very busy. They see you as like kind of like moving on, even if you feel like you're falling apart or you feel like you know you're having a really hard time in this separation or in this you know they don't see it that way they from the outside looking in they think that you are doing better than they are and you may be some of you are really focused on your money your success they may see you like earning money or working really hard your accomplishments that could be maybe new job opportunities and possibilities some of you starting your own business um, so they can see a lot of abundance around you and they're confused whether or not you would you know, reciprocate if they was to return and try to make an apology to you. They're not sure what they should say. What would be their best choice? Should they send a letter in the mail? Should they type something up on social media? Should they text you, try to call you, have a friend get in contact with you? What do they do? What? How should they, should they run into you by accident? That kind of thing. You know, accidentally run into you kind of thing. Should they, what would be their best course of action to get to you? their feelings with the four of swords there's a lot of constant thoughts and like daydreaming about you i mean i honestly feel like they've daydreamed about connecting with you and like you being like oh i've missed you too baby you know that kind of thing like constantly in their head about you they feel kind of stuck they cannot get over you even if they felt like in the past they would have they cannot they cannot get over it um they feel stuck on you and then their intentions, we do have the, the Six of Swords. Like I said, I kind of get this energy from this person of, if only we could figure out a way to like accidentally run into you. That way, you know, you could not avoid me and, you know, like they want to see you or something. We could see. What are their intentions with you? Yeah, 
Yeah, they're trying to like hold back. They don't, I mean, to be honest with you, I think this person does want to talk to you. They want to apologize to you. But they're afraid that you're going to reject them. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody who's very prideful. This person is trying to hold, to exercise some type of restraint. They are, what they're looking for, instead of like crawling back on their hands and knees, baby, I'm sorry, baby, I messed up, baby, you're the one. They're hoping for some kind of opportunity where they're going to like bump into you accidentally. You get what I'm saying? And then they can be like, oh, you know, start things up again that way without having to be the one that kind of, you know. But they would apologize eventually. They, you know, but they don't want to be the one who's like rejected by you again. And in their actions, we do have the Eight of Sword, Eight of Wands. So they are trying to make contact with you, probably asking to see you. What can you expect? Saying they've been thinking about you, they want to catch up. Probably watching you or having, even having other people spy on you. If you've already blocked them, they may have other people watching you. We have Capricorn energy here. Um, let's see what messages we have here about the situation. I mean, they're definitely watching you. They're, if you give them a sign, like if you're posting something like, you know, a song or something that they would remember, they would reach out to you. But I feel like this person, they're very prideful and they're very much afraid of getting rejected. And they're really worried about, especially if they're with someone else, they're really worried about the situation. Yeah, look at that. Soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. We have, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. And they want to date. Date. Meeting someone new. Dating. Get back out there. Plan and set a date. For some of you, you actually they, you actually might be moving on or meeting someone new. And this person is watching. And they are so jealous. Going crazy over here. They may, like, if they, if, like, you announce online that you're dating someone or even mention it, like, they, or they, they overhear it from someone else, I think this person will just kind of show up kind of unexpectedly. Because they don't want you to move on and begin to have feelings for someone else, and they'll lose their chance forever. But they're waiting for some kind of sign from you that, they, that you would be willing to accept them back. But the thing about it is, they had the power to control the situation, and they, they kind of failed that test. Now you're in separation from this person, and you want to hear from them. And I do feel like they will do whatever it takes to try to make you know, some kind of reconnection take place here. If you don't give them like a sign that, you know, you're still interested, they'll try to like run into you on accident or something like that. But I think they would kind of go a little bit crazy if they saw you with someone else. So you'll definitely be hearing from this person one way or the other. Like if you don't get them a sign, they'll try to reach out. But like I said, some of you, you may actually already be connecting with someone else. They still want to date you. They still like you. But I think some of you actually may already be meeting someone else. And it's kind of driving this person crazy. That's why they're so anxious in their head. Like you may see it as possibly over between the two of you. But you know they still have feelings for you. But they should have stepped up then, you know. But some of you may still even want to hear from them. Like I said, this, again, this is general. But it's going to be up to you. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send donations. It is truly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.